Hi, so um, this is a short uh, best practice video and uh, today we're gonna analyze a bit how boundaries work in, in Jevero and how we can uh, efficiently create boundaries without having to, to perform too many clicks. Um, one thing that we created when, when building Jevero is a flexible boundary system. So um, this allow us to create boundaries uh, not specifying a, spe a, a given order uh, so that the two lines that are connecting in the boundary are not um, don't need to be picked um, straight one after the other but this causes some drawbacks so I'm gonna show you how um, this um, there are simple a simple uh, tricks that can be used for simplifying boundary creation and to, to uh, create a more um, maintainable model and a better overall um, a better overall result of your of your boundary. For example, if we want to create a boundary here by going around like this, we will notice one thing. Now what I would like to do is uh, I would like to to have this this boundary going around these uh, lines here, but some part of the boundary got deselected, and this is because we, um, when creating the boundary, every intersection matter. So the the uh, intersection that this margin line has with this um, other line here, it's it's an important one, and if I need to. Um, create a boundary like this, I need to pick every line which is kind of a tedious work. So now I have my, my boundary as I would like to have it. And this is okay. I mean if we look at this boundary then we see we have a lot of clicks we have done. Every point is a click. And it's not ideal. In other softwares you will create it with, with way less clicks. Um, but there is a way that we can uh, create this boundary. Let's let's take this and um, let's delete it. There's a better way that that we can create it with with way less clicks and with a simpler workflow. So what I want to do first is create a chain, not a constraint chain. I want to create a simple chain that connects these three lines here. Then I'm creating another chain that is connecting these three lines over here. So now I have this chain over here that is going like that, and another chain down here that is going like that. And this allow me to create this kind of joint line um, that that are going to be support for my boundary. Then I'm going to create a boundary based on this chain and uh, this other chain, and then this uh, two small connection point here. And there I have a boundary that is much cleaner. Here it is. It's much cleaner. I, I did way less clicks than I did before. And uh, it's way more flexible because if I, for example, now go and um, add, say, a smooth in the chain here and one here, let's say two, that's OK then say that I want to have, I don't know, another part that, uh, another boundary that goes here and I can select my chain here and this one here and I have this other boundary that is built on top of the same, of the same chain and if I need to, to change the parts that are connected to this, to this line over here, I don't need to fix every single part and every boundary that is connected there but I can fix the chain and everything all the dependency that this chain has so let's pick the chain and let's see the dependency you see I create the boundary and another boundary here all these are um, automatically automatically fixed so whenever I am doing this these things it's usually I always have at least two different um, set of boundaries that I, I build on, on on some lines and usually are lateral and medial. So with with this approach of I create a chain, 
not a constraint chain and just a chain is is in Jever we have this difference we have a chain and constraint chain the chain is simply a connection like a, an open boundary if you want and layering chains on top of uh, on top of boundaries allow to create a better model a more flexible one and then also when grading and when doing all my all my activities that are after after the, the pattern creation um, this gives me a, a way better stability on the model and it gives me way better also uh, change management possibilities because I have a structured model instead of having a, a flat one so that if I have to change a dependency I need to rebuild the model like this if I change this this um, line I can easily update everything that is connected to that part of the shoe and so this is just a small trick for uh, building better models and quickly and having better and and stronger um, workflows within Jever. Thanks a lot.